Hey Capricorn, it is me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you guys your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. We'll see what God Angels Universe has for you. Capricorn. Ooh, High Priestess. Seven of Swords. Three of Swords. Suspicious about third party situation. Hmm. Are you attracted to somebody? But you don't know if they're married or if they're actually single. I feel like you have your hopes set on somebody or your attention set on one specific person. But you don't know if this person is entertaining other people or if you are their primary person. The information that you're looking for, I feel like is going to come out in this reading feels like somebody has not been given to a connection and it's almost like yeah you got three threes one two three three of pentacles is not here um kind of feels like you want to move forward with a love situation but um angels are saying rejection is looming so Oh, angels are saying there are a lot of curiosities about somebody in a particular situation, but it's almost like maybe you don't want to take the bull by the horns and, you know, kind of just be direct and ask about this because perhaps you're afraid of uh, either one being reject, uh, being rejected or number two, that if you kind of quote unquote confront this particular situation, the situation is going to come to an end. Now, here's a funny message, funny as in unusual, because it's almost like as long as you have these thoughts about this situation and this person, nothing can pro progress anyway, right? Some of you guys are waiting to see, yeah, like, do you want me? Are you attracted to me? Like, I know I want you, but you're still waiting on this person to reveal maybe how they feel about you. Um is that going to come because with the wheel of fortune and the three of cups it's almost like yeah you're going to have a reason to be happy i feel like you were happy when you met this person this person almost even feels like you're a perfect person capricorn by the way but you just don't know how they feel a lot of you guys might have been watching these videos you might have been you know checking your intuition your instincts about this person I feel like you're getting a lot of downloads and a lot of information from tarot readings. You want to know if they're serious about you or if they're just quote unquote playing you because I feel like they haven't been contributing to this. You're tired of worrying about whether or not this person has multiple or other options. Um, some of you guys may just kind of be direct and ask about it. Um, and kind of that seven of wands and the empress to me kind of feels like um, kind of like somebody has a lot of love for you or has a lot of emotion and plans for you. But for some reason, something is stopping them from sharing that information with you. And for you, why they are hesitant to share that information at this point is start starting to uh, stress you out but then also too makes you believe that this person has other options you got three threes here right so here's the funny thing um you could have a primary person and you're interested in this third person or you're wondering if they have a primary person and they're interested in you so this kind of me to me almost even feels like two three ways what i'm also getting too is that for you I feel like you're going to keep your options open, Capricorn, but this, you know, this is your number one person, like your ace in the person, the person that you're mostly attracted to, and maybe you want to progress with, but again, you're not going to do that unless, you know, you have the information from them that they want to progress with you as well. Oh boy, ace of wands. Ooh, ace of cups. Come on, aces. New start be strong queen of cups there is love okay so there's the commitment card okay so this to me kind of feels like you're gonna have to have to maybe 
just be strong enough um angels are saying maybe give this person a little bit more time for them to be able to re reveal their emotions and open up to you um lust versus love hmm who's who are you the one lusting or are you the one loving are they the one lusting or are they the one loving the uh, hierophant is you know like the teacher you know the the guidance counselor the spiritual advisor that um says wait for them to maybe come to you wait for them to reveal how they feel about you and i feel like angels well angels just said that's the message you guys have been getting from tarot readings now here's going to be something different cap because i'm gonna give you the quick and dirty i'm gonna give you the answer you're looking for I feel like in all honesty with these double aces here, the ace of cups and the ace of wands with the queen of cups and queen of wands, I do feel like you guys are supposed to have a chapter, okay? Because we go from alpha, the beginning, all the way to the court card, the throne, the the not necessarily destination, the kings are destination, the queens are pretty much the the path to that destination. So I really do feel like, yeah, you guys are going to go forward. You are going to have this new beginning. Universe is calling upon you maybe to have a leap of faith. Here comes a twisted message for one or two of you specifically. I'm hearing now you see how people feel when they deal with you. As in maybe somebody doesn't know if you're married or engaged or, you know, in some sort of domestic partnership. And the only thing that they can do is just kind of endure as in, you know, kind of continue forward, you know, look for the signs, um, you know, kind of maintain or keep a balanced approach, right? Manage your ego, manage the, you know, the spiritual side and the carnal side and saying, you know what, let me learn this person completely before quote unquote passing judgment. So with these Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, I feel like whomever it is that you're dealing with and you're so curious about that's why to an extent maybe some of you haven't gotten the answer from other tarot readers maybe other tarot readers have said oh well just progress and you know eventually you'll find out that is the same message here by the way but with these double queens here especially with the empress you guys are supposed to have a season together um and and a lifetime by the way is a season okay so I, I, whether or not this is your person is going to determine your free will and their free will. But I do feel like the two of you guys together, I feel like number one, you guys have a lot in common. It's almost like you're comparable or comparable, um, opposites, if you will. You guys are both in your feminine energy, which kind of says to me that you're both waiting on each other to reveal how you feel. And the fact that you do want to be together. I feel like with the wheel of fortune here, the universe is naturally and organically steering you guys towards a relationship. I think the reason for all of this uncertainty is to see if one of you guys will self-sabotage, jump the gun and muck it up. Okay. So here, yes, Capricorn, this is a person, a person of significance to you, somebody who you can and will eventually commit to. Angels are saying probably somewhere around the three month time frame. Um, but at least for now, especially with the full card kind of sitting in the middle of your reading, you are supposed to go forward and learn and pick up as much as you can um, about this person to be able to determine, yeah, if it is going to be commitment, if it is going to, are you going to commit to, are you going to commit to forever? If you or are you just going to commit to right now? And angels are saying a lot of that is coming from you, by the way. So if you're curious um, angels are all, okay. So it's a twofold. If you're curious about how they feel about you, it's only because you're still uncertain how you feel about them. So it's almost like you're projecting how you feel on them. That's the first thing. The second thing is if you are curious on whether or not this is going to work, whether or not I should proceed, whether or not this is my person, it's also too, because maybe you haven't healed from a past situation that's still kind of swimming around in your head and, you know, kind of messing with your thoughts, by the way, whomever this new person is, whether they're an Aries or a Capri excuse me, Aries, Cancer, Leo, or Taurus, you're going to have to wipe the slate clean and start from scratch. Learn this person, 
without the interference of the people of your past. I can easily say to you guys, take your time. I won't. I'll say to you, keep an open mind and keep your eyes open, feet on the ground. Learn whatever this person is teaching you about them. Angels are saying, don't allow the, the crap of your past to interfere with um, learning this new person. And Nine of Swords to me is also that negative filter as in, are you learning and seeing them for who they are? Or are you learning and seeing them through the filter of your past? Is that blocking you? Is that distorting your vision of this new person? Angels are also saying too, um, if you are curious, if you are concerned, it, it is also too, because you're starting to develop feelings for this person. Yeah, you have strong passions related to this person, um, Capricorn. I also feel like for some of you guys, you can see this person as the mother or father to your children, by the way. It's almost like you're already thinking long term and, you know, you guys just met. Or you're within the first three months of knowing them and you're already thinking long term and thinking, you know, permanency when you still have to get to know them, you still have to learn them. Another way of saying that is, yeah, you could be jumping the gun, right? You could be jumping the gun. Mm, look at that. That's confirmation. Well, you're ready. You just want to know if they're ready. Ask your angels. Look at that. Get more information. No. Yeah. For some of you guys, you may feel like you know everything you need to know about this person and want to commit. Now, um, you know, I, I've, I've always known and heard, heard before, listen, if you have to doubt or if you have to ask questions, you're not sure, right? Like if you, if you have to, to, to question anything, that means that you don't know as much as you need to know. Because when we think about judgment and decision making, those decisions are made based on the information that's presented in front of you at that very moment. Here, I don't feel like you have all that information, especially with the fool sitting here. The fool doesn't know anything. The fool is brand new. That's why he's number zero in the tarot. Because he, he hasn't earned any stripes to put a number up there, right? He's starting from scratch. He or she is starting from zero. So I feel like for you, Capricorn, that's exactly where you are. You have these two new beginning um, cards here, the Ace of Wands and also the Ace of Cups. So this is new love. This is new passion. Angels were also saying too, for some of you guys, you've never felt like this before. So this is a new feeling. So you don't know what to do. Be strong, get to learn as, um, as much as you can about this person. I feel like some of you guys have developed emotions for them. Um, and, and some lust and that's good. Love and lust is good, right? You're very attracted to them. You're starting to fall in love with them. Take a wait and see approach and see who this person actually turns out to be. All right, my lovely Capricorn, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. I love you, Cap. Bye.